So welcome back to the Friday vlog series where, you guessed it, we're gonna break this video into two main parts. Hi. Number Wait, one. Are you showing them the yes. bike? Number one, we had can a bike. Can you, can you, can you let me speak one <laughs> sentence? Why are they showing, are yeah. you showing them the bike? Yeah, we're gonna show them the bike. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Number one, we had a bike arrive yesterday. Come on. Hi, Ken. Oh, Troy. Hey. hey. Look at that. Sorry from FE, uh, I've got your new uh, kicker bike here for it. Wow. It's, um, it's heavy, but it's doable. Do you need help down the stairs? Yeah, she's, she's built well. So my wife normally does her trainer stuff here. Yeah. We'll put it here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. What do you mean, what is it? Is it my bike? <laughs> <laughs> It's the aero position, Rubes. I can do it. Right. <laughs> what if I go What do you reckon? I'm sorry, so, it's very dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Did you get that over here? Huh? You just humped my leg. Oh, nice. He's excited about that bike finally. He wasn't excited before. Just got home and we had a delivery arrive set up now. <laughs> I'm just a creep in the corner. Keep going. Yeah. Aren't, you, aren't you filming though? What are you doing? Oh, I'm waiting for you to finish. Yeah, I didn't know if you were filming. Alright, so I've just gotten home and, I, and uh, I've been, the husband's left me a gift in the lounge room. Have you? Is this mine? Yeah, there's a turd under the uh, chair over there. Shit, I'm going to You're going to do an FTP test on it tomorrow? Yeah. Okay, Rossi's got the licking problem again. <laughs> So what you mate, you gotta stop stop eating geckos. Oh he's really Stop eating geckos. Stuff, isn't he? What do you, so what do you think really? You... <laughs> really? I never have to take Both. the wheel off my bike. Yeah. This just stays like this all the time. Yes. And so if you ride it, you just put your seat up, and if I ride it, I just put the seat down. Uh not quite. No. You take a photo on your app and you, it tells you your adjustments pretty much automatically. So Does it adjust it for, can it adjust the seat while you're on it? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. If it... <laughs> yeah, look, well, I would like it just for me. And I don't want your stinky, sweaty balls all over the seat. What? It moves up and down as you're going up inclines and down declines. I just, yeah, I, I want one. Okay, we'll see. And number two, bit of a channel update. Bye, Daddy. Bye-bye. Yeah, here you go, Rubes. Love you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. So a bit of an update on a few counts. Number one is the crank length change. I know a lot of people out there are wondering what impact it's having on my cycling, so I'll get to that shortly. Number two, just know that the kicker bike is not mine. I'm borrowing it from the local Wahoo dealer, and I reached out to them to see if I could get access to it in return for a review. And number three, I just wanted to let everyone know that I'll be having a few weeks off YouTube. I didn't want to just vanish. I think it's fair and reasonable that I let everyone know, despite the fact I know some people say, you don't need to tell us what's going on. However, I've set an expectation with the viewer that I have two videos on this channel every single week on Wednesdays and Fridays. And if those two videos all of a sudden stop without any communication, I feel like that's a little bit unreasonable. So I want to let you know what's going on behind the scenes. But first of all, I wanted to thank every single one of you out there that clicks on my videos, gives me your time by watching my content, subscribes, likes, and of course the channel members who support the channel financially. In 2007, I left my corporate job, I left the corporate world behind to tackle a passion project and somehow I found my way into making cycling videos on YouTube and I'm very passionate about it, I love what I do. And if it wasn't for you sitting behind the camera, watching the screen, watching my content, I would probably be back in a corporate job. So I'm super grateful for the support that you give me. And if I could smash my hand through the camera, give you a handshake, fist pump, elbow, whatever we need to do, I would do it. So thanks a million. So the reason why I'm having a few weeks off YouTube content is purely because I'm running at three major projects behind the scenes. I'm actually updating my personal website, which was built in two hours in 2018 when I first launched the channel. The Road Cycling Academy has become an official company and it's getting a proper website built. And I'm also shooting a brand new online course for road cyclists keen to take their performance to the next level. Now you might be wondering why I'm running at these three projects at the same time. And as my wise father said, 
you're a dickhead son, but there is a good reason for it and I'm not gonna bore you with the detail, but the fact is trying to run at these three projects while also make two cycling YouTube videos per week. I've been trying to do it over the last six to eight weeks and I'm feeling a little bit burnt out. It's not really working out, so I feel like the best thing to do is just pause the YouTube content for the next three weeks, get this stuff sorted, and then I can come back hopefully bigger and better than ever. So the final thing I wanted to share with you is the crank length change. Now I'm gonna split this into two pieces, a first impressions and a longer term review. The longer term review will involve me testing my power numbers, FTP, and other facets of my cycling because everyone's fascinated going to shorter cranks, what impact it's gonna have on your power numbers. And right now, probably for the next two to three months, I'm not gonna be at the same fitness level as I was a few months ago when I was actually doing those FTP tests on the channel. So that's gonna be the longer term review. The first impressions, the reason why I haven't done that video yet is because I'm still tweaking, not so much the position on the bike, but I'm trying some different seats at the moment that Neil has got me on. You can see them, see them here. This Vol Volcor, I think it's called, something like that, that is probably the one that I'm gonna go for. It's a very unusual looking seat, but essentially what has happened is because I've changed crank lengths, it's enabled me to tilt my pelvis forward, and as a result of that, my old mates are getting squashed into the seat, it's a fact. And this seat has proven, even though it looks a bit weird, it's proven to be a lot more comfortable. So once I've nailed the right seat, which I think I have, and I've been riding on that for you know two to three weeks, I'll be able to share first impressions video. So I think when the channel comes back, you'll see a first impressions on the crank length change. Now I'll leave you with some scenes of my wife completing an FTP test. While I sneakily planted the camera, she did kind of know about it this time, but she wasn't overly happy with her result. That's why she's gonna do, I think, the FTP test again today, but I'll leave you with some scenes. And lastly, one more time, thanks to everyone for your support, and I'll catch you all in a few weeks' time.